is the Eyeliner Lace Masquerade look, and it's created only really using eyeliner. If you are the type that doesn't like to fork out on a costume for Halloween, but you still want to make some sort of effort, this is a look for you. It's hauntingly beautiful. Do you have crazy dark circles? It's okay, you don't even need to conceal them at all. Go straight to foundation. You want to go easy with your foundation because you just want to create an even finish. So remember, don't mask it on because you will be wearing a mask. Okay, this step is important. Set your foundation with a powder. Why? Because you want to create a nice matte finish and also you don't want your foundation to slip and slide because that will make your lace masquerade slip and slide as well. So concentrate most of the application around the eyes. Now let's add some height and definition to the face. With a darker shade of my cream foundation, I'm going to bring it down from the bridge of my nose all the way down around my tip. This will cast a shadow on the nose, giving me an illusion of a taller and slimmer nose. A masquerade can really flatten the face, so you want to keep the height of the features. Using the same shade from my cream foundation, I'm applying this in the hollows of my cheeks to create an angled and chiseled face. To finish off the canvas, I'm just going to take my bronzer and I'm sweeping this across my temples, my hairline, um, across my jawline and the whole thing is to create an illusion of shadows so the face looks more three-dimensional. On to the fun part, drawing the lace masquerade. Now, with a gel liner and a small brush, make a dip between the brows. And then use the top of your eyebrows as a guideline and work above it to create the top of your mask. How wide you want your mask is obviously up to you. For me, I'm going to use from the side of my nose across the edge of my eyes as a guideline. Then I'm going to draw the bottom of my mask. It sounds a little weird, but I kind of use my dark circles to help me create the shape. Not easiest part, color it in! Make sure you leave a little gap around your eyes because you want to look as if you're wearing the mask. You don't want your eyes to become part of the mask. Once you're done coloring the inside, you can go ahead and fix up any edges that need fixing. I swap to a liquid liner for definition and to create a lace detail. Basically, you're just going to draw a semicircle and then on the inside, draw another semicircle. And then inside each semicircle, you want to draw three lines. So, one in the middle and then two coming from both sides. To bring the lace to light, draw little dashes to create a fringe detail. Since I was kind of improvising doing this, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the center. By swirling my eyeliner, I create a different type of lace design. Remember, you can embellish your lace mask whatever way you want. For the top of my mask, I'm just going to make little dashes with my eyeliner equal distances apart. And this just gives me an idea of how wide I want my lace detail to be. Connect each dash by creating a semicircle. And then draw another semicircle inside. Inside the arc, draw little semicircles to create a frilly detail. And if this is too difficult for you, then just make little lines instead. Now, draw more of these little frills around the same circles. Now, add the little dashes to bring the lace detail to life.
To make the mask look as if it's soft velvet, I'm going to take a black matte eyeshadow and I'm just going to paint over it and this will make the mask look more even as well. You don't want your eyes to look bare behind the mask, but you don't have a lot of space to do the eye makeup. However, you can apply eyeliner and this will make your eyes appear bigger and more feminine. Apply the eyeliner on the waterline to define the eyes and to make the mask appear more 3D. Final step, curl your lashes and apply mascara and your mask create look is complete. To make the eyes really stand out from behind the mask, I put on a pair of blue contacts and this makes the eyes appear more haunting. If you want your mask to be the main focus, then stick with a soft nude lipstick. Or you can wear a deep red lipstick for an elegant haunting look. And now your lace mask create look is complete and I promise you, you will not lose your mask. Thank you so much guys for watching and we're happy to announce that ShopBobby.com is finally open again. We're so sorry for being away so long, but we are back.